If you are interested in stories with happy endings, you would be better off playing some other game. In this game, not only is there no happy ending, there is no happy beginning, and very few happy things in the middle. This is because not very many happy things happened in the lives of the three Baudelaire children. Let's meet them, shall we? Klaus Baudelaire loved books. Nothing pleased him more than spending an afternoon filling up his head with their contents. And everything he read, he remembered. Klaus's oldest sister, Violet, was one of the world's greatest 14-year-old inventors. Anyone who knew Violet well could tell she was thinking very hard when her long hair was tied up in a ribbon to keep it out of her eyes. And Sunny, the youngest Baudelaire, liked to bite things with her four very sharp teeth. There was very little that Sunny did not enjoy biting. I must open this crate. It wouldn't be closed if there wasn't something interesting in it. Klaus needs assistance. Perhaps I can invent something to help him out. Mini Willy, what? That fork. That jack in the box. That boot. I have an idea, but I need those objects to make it work. First, I need to get the fork. To cross gaps, Ugh. run forward, then press the right mouse or control button to jump to pick up an item, press down on the left mouse button and move the target over the item. Item is a word which here means fork. When the item or fork is highlighted, release the mouse button to pick it up. Well done, Violet. For my contribution, I'll go across the pier to retrieve the old boot. There are many things that you can count on in this world, but many, many more that you cannot. For example, you cannot count on those floating logs to stay precisely where they are. To get past low barriers, simply run up to them. You'll automatically climb over. To pass taller barriers, run up to the barrier and press the right mouse or control button to jump and climb over. Run up to the ladder and press the up and down arrows to move up and down. I got the boot. What now, Violet? We need to get that jack-in-the-box down. Sonny, I'm gonna need your assistance. Duke! To bite through even the toughest of materials, target the biteable object by first pressing down on the left mouse button, then releasing it. That's great, Sonny. Now I have everything I need. Now if I attach this to here and hook this up to this, presto. I think I'll call it a smasher. The way to use inventions like this smasher is somewhat similar to picking things up. Target the smashable item by holding down the left mouse button, then release the button to break the item into little bits. Those crates won't know what hit them. Ow! Be careful, those crabs can hurt you. Maybe there's something in one of these crates to cheer you up. This game is inversely proportional to the number of lockets you can collect. The term inversely proportional here means that the more lockets you come across, the lower your misery. What is that? It looks like the letter A. The Baudelaire's were about to discover 
that there are many mysterious letters in the world, some of them good, some of them not good at all. In this case, the letters are good. You may pick them up and collect them. A is for antipenultimate, which here means third to last. Violet, it could be said, is the antipenultimate Baudelaire. Those crabs have stolen our picnic basket and carried it up that hill. Fafa, no! We can use the rotten eggs to scare them away. But I don't think either of us can throw them with enough force. We'll need something to lob them with. I'll need a handle, a scoop, a gear, and one last piece to attach everything together. To save your game, run up to the game saver. Telling what might be in that water. Violet, does this toy boat look like it will work for your invention? Yes. I'll check around inside for a scoop. Sonny, bite that rope. Ice cream scoop is perfect. Now I just need some sort of gear and a handle. Could you use any of the parts off that old tricycle? Only if I can get Sunny's help to bite the pieces into shape. Groba! Notch biting, Sonny. I'll call this one the lobber. Those rotten eggs should work perfectly with it. To use the lobber, target the crabs with the left mouse button, then release it. We'll always have enough rotten eggs to use in the lobber. A crab! I need to watch out for its pincers. Cuddling, starring crab! A crab!
No sooner had the children vanquished the crabs than they saw Mr. Poe walking towards them. Mr. Poe? From the bank? Children, I'm afraid I must inform you of <coughs> an extremely unfortunate event. <coughs> your parents have perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home. I know you must feel awful right now, but I have some very good news for you. As the executor of your parents' estate, I've made arrangements for you to live with your dear Uncle Count Olaf. Consider yourselves lucky children. He's an actor by trade. Generosity is rare in his profession. <clears throat> I would like to tell you that Count Olaf lived in the prettiest house on the block, with a workshop for Violet, spacious library for Klaus, and a white picket fence for Sunny to nibble on. And it would give me great pleasure to inform you that the children went on to live happy lives under the care of their beloved uncle in this cozy and inviting home. Unfortunately, I cannot. This lovely home belongs to Justice Strauss, Count Olaf's friendly next-door neighbor. This is the house of Count Olaf, and this is where it pains me to continue our story. Ah, <sighs> my dear. I am your beloved Count Olaf, and my heart, much like my home, is wide open to you, especially the kitchen. My theater troupe will be dining here this evening, and you will have dinner ready precisely when we feel like eating it. Money, 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 tons of new fancy clothes for me. None of us know how to cook. We'll need a recipe. Maybe we could ask our new neighbor, Justice Strauss, if she has a cookbook we could borrow. As a judge, she must have a huge library. That's a great idea. Let's go next door and ask her. We need to find our way out, but this door's locked. I have an idea, but I'll need some wire, a flat disc, and some sort of turn crank. <laughs> ah, rats! The lobber eggs should stun them so we can get past. It's a filthy rat! Sneaking around. Get out of here! Give a man some privacy. Let's keep our distance. He doesn't seem very friendly. But I could use that record for my invention. When dealing with a villain like this, you must stun them with the item shown up in the right hand corner. When the hench person is stunned, you can bop them with the smasher. Oh, that is spouty. Good thinking, Sonny. I thought I told you kids to get out of here. <clears throat> Ouch! When the hench person is stunned, you can bop them with the smasher. <laughs> Got the record. This place could use some major renovations. We need to find another way around. Speedy? Yeah, the wall behind that painting looks odd. I wonder if Olaf's hidden something there. Oh, that's odd, but interesting. I should pick it up. It could prove to be useful later. For every ten eyes you collect, 
you will receive a playbill for one of Olaf's theatre productions. The turning handle on this pencil sharpener will be perfect for my invention. Sonny, I have a feeling there's something in there that I can use for my invention. Voila, the lockpick is complete. To use the lockpick, target the locked door or item with the left mouse button, then release the button to unlock. B is for Byzantine, which here means vastly more intricate and far-reaching than three unfortunate children could ever possibly imagine. A secret closet. Fascinating. There's a small hole in here. Sonny, you're the only one who can fit inside. We need you to crawl through and look for another way around. Be careful.
Great job, Sonny. I knew you could do it. Kiki! What are those things? Suborder Nematocera. It's really an adult fly, but is often referred to as a giant mosquito. I've seen pictures, but they don't look that big in the book. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Hide. Count Olaf and I are running away to Zanzibar together. He told me not to tell you, but it's true. Wrong! He's sending you by yourself so he and I can be together. <laughs> It must have been those women. Hmm. That gives me an idea. We need a pump, something cone-shaped, and their eau de toilette. Eau de toilette? Eau de toilette is a term that is supposed to mean perfume, but in this instance, it means something closer to how it sounds. A rat! Oh, I can't work under these conditions! This old bicycle bump should work for Violet's invention. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, excuse me. Yeah, th that's a lovely fragrance you're wearing there. What do you call it? Well, why don't you come over here for a better whiff? Now ah! ah! Count Olaf will shun me. Eau de Toilette.
That looks like a hide a bit. There should be a switch in here to raise it up. Perfect cone shape. Exactly what Violet was looking for. Hmm. If that goes there, and I spin this around... Presto! Bug sprayer. Hold the left mouse button to target with the bug sprayer, and release it to spray the eau de toilette. All these pictures of the billiard table mean anything.
Remember, sometimes switches are behind paintings. There must be some connection between the billiard table and these paintings of it. all these pictures of the billiard table mean anything. Don't get distracted, Klaus. I know you could spend all day reading in here if we didn't have a job to do. Oh, right. Let's use the card catalog. Good thinking. I think I know where the cookbook we need is located, but it's in another part of the library. I'm almost positive it's behind this door. It's locked, but I bet that lever would open the door. But it's out of reach. Hmm, I've got an idea. I bet Justice Strass would have a judge's gavel and some scales. I could also use a spring and something long and rope-like. the gavel that Violet wanted.
Here's the judge's scale. It's a good thing that clock had a spring in it. This projector might provide a useful clue. Bubblegum? In a library? That's strange. But if I use it in the lobber, it might slow Olaf's henchmen down. All clowns are disturbing, and Count Olaf is more disturbing than most. Even losing can't mitigate how truly disturbing he really is. This bell pull rope should be long enough. One lever anchor, made to order. All you have to do is hold the left mouse button down to target the lever, then release the button to pull the lever. I think it might be best if you search for the book, Klaus. 
Sunny and I will keep a look at Ow! <laughs> for ephemeral, which here means fleeting and short-lived, such as the moments in which the lives of the Baudelaire orphans are not entirely dreadful. It's for Farago, which here means a motley assortment of odds and ends, cleverly assembled for a useful purpose. Thank <laughs> you. 
And a big one at that. Hypnotic suggestion is a powerful thing, and Count Olaf must have been in a trance himself if he thought he could win. find a way to get up to that balcony.
D is for deflagrate, which here means to set fire to, through the application of intense light and heat. The cookbook. Now to get back to the others. Sunny? Get in there! And leave that projector alone, it's not a toy. Hey, unhand. I mean, unhook. Just let go of my sisters. You! Count Olaf will be very angry when he hears you've been sneaking off. What's that book you stole? Hand it over. But we need it to... I don't ask a second time. I take. You can use the bracket keys to scroll through your projectiles. Have you hurt? Just our pride. Thanks for rescuing us. You'd do the same. I have the cookbook. We better start making dinner. Here's one. Pasta puttanesca. It looks easy enough to make. What are the ingredients? We need onions, garlic, tomatoes, anchovies, a bottle of capers, a jar of olives, and a whole lot of pasta. I'll go check the greenhouse for tomatoes. You and Sunny search around here for the rest of the ingredients. When you get them, bring them back here so Sunny can start chopping. Get them first! I'd love to make those hench people cry. These onions in the sprayer should do the trick. Sunny, can you check the pantry? There might be something we need in there.
I don't need to go out there. Klaus is taking care of searching the greenhouse. I catch a whiff of urchin. Those rats must be nearby. I is for indomitable, which here means stubbornly carrying on against conditions so overwhelmingly grim that anyone who knows better would have given up a long time ago. That takes care of the olives. H is for halcyon which here means calm, peaceful, and happy. If you are interested in playing a video game that fits this description, you should try something else. The plays the thing, very now help myself to generous inheritance. Aha! I thought I heard a monkey. You best be moving along before I call animal control. Mine eyes are There's the garlic. Not too fresh, but it'll do. Crack. We should be able to find some ingredients in the cellar. Mind having a look, Sunny? But no tasting. We need to cook it. Have a slap.
Now where are the tomatoes? This shows how I need to set the dials on the fountain. A crab! Oh no, a crab! <laughs> Alright, all I need to do now is fill this can and give those tomatoes a bath. If I can get this fountain working, then I can water these tomato plants. Now I need a way to carry the water. Maybe there's a watering can around here somewhere. <laughs> now I just need to get this water to the tomato plants. These tomato plants have dried up. They need some water. That's everything. Great, let's get started. Sunny, can opener. Honestly, I don't see how you find the strength to deal with those monstrous orphans. The orphans are a burden which my generosity compels me to tolerate. Dinner is served. About time. It's pasta. Pasta puttanesca. Where's the roast beef? Roast beef? When a group of international actors pauses for nourishment, they expect and deserve better than a pile of mushy chum. They expect and deserve roast beef. But you didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. You, Skelpy! 
Scalpy Scalperton. You fetch the car. Count Olaf took the children on what he said would be a pleasant Sunday drive. Pleasant is a word which here means trapped in front of an oncoming train. We've got to do something, Klaus. There's no way that train can stop in time. I once read a book about railroad operation. We need to be able to pull those switches. You're on the right track, Klaus. We might make it after all. You did it, Klaus. Oh, what a tragic accident. Those poor orphans. Their enormous fortune could be but a mild consolation in my... What? You're alive? <coughs> What's going on here? My goodness, Count Olaf, how could you? Sonny is far too young to be driving an automobile. <coughs> it's simply not good parenting. You are quite obviously an unfit guardian for these children. I am removing them from your care. I shall have to locate their next closest relative, which will be a great inconvenience, as I am a very busy man. Now come along, children. <coughs> Dear Mr. Poe, might I have one last word with them before they're taken away from me? I suppose so, but make it quick. Goodbye, orphans. Boy, oh boy, it sure was fun. I'll be back again. You can count on it when you least expect it. I'm a master of disguise. I can become anyone. I can follow you anywhere. And I'll get my hands on your fortune if it's the last darn thing I do. The Baudelaire children were introduced to their new guardian, the world-famous herpetologist, Dr. Montgomery Montgomery. You can call me Uncle Monty. Dr. Montgomery had a collection of rare and astonishing reptiles that he'd collected in his many travels around the world. His most prized acquisition was called the Incredibly Deadly Viper. The name is a misnomer, a word which here means a very wrong name. The incredibly deadly viper is not deadly at all. It is, in fact, extremely playful and friendly. Dr. Montgomery told the children about his upcoming trip to Peru and made them all very happy by inviting them to come along. Now I must go into town to get supplies for our trip. And I have an errand for you three as well. Please go to the horseradish factory to pick up some crates of horseradish. Peruvians love horseradish on their toasted avocado sandwiches, and I'm going to use it to barter with him. Hello there. I am a pleasant and inviting employee of this charmingly dilapidated factory. Would you like to know more about whatever it is we do here? You're not fooling anyone with that disguise. You're one of Count Olaf's actors, and you're up to something. Well, aren't you perceptive? I was going to give you a tour, but I guess I'll have to trap you here until Count Olaf arrives. I think that was our cue to get out of here. The only way out is through the factory. Follow me. If you're looking for a hopeful conclusion where good triumphs and evil is vanquished, well, you will find that here. But it won't last very long. Throwing horseradish. I think it's best to avoid it. Or throw it back at them. 
We can use our lobber to get some good distance with it. We just need to pick up those globs. Great idea, Klaus. Oh! This wasn't in the script. Hey! So horse radishy. There's a door up there that looks like the way out, but I'm not sure how to get to it. You and Sunny wait here while I find a way up. Send it down. Will do. Bite through the rope, holding that hook back. It should swing down and smash the berry. Mazu.
J is for jeopardy, which here means exposure to extreme danger that threatens life and limb. It is a condition that is for some. Oh, no, not a rouse. is for lacrimose, which here means grief-stricken and inclined toward weeping.
Violet. Oh no. How will I get up there now? Don't be that.
is for key, which here means a device for entering forbidden places, where one is unlikely to be welcomed. like we've been captured. Hang on. I'll find out where that thing is taking you. Is on the way, Sonny. Montgomery, where are you? Oh no, all the snakes have gotten loose. Hello, children. 
I am Stefano, Dr. Montgomery's Italian assistant. Boy, this place sure is a mess. Look at all these snakes slithering around. We know what you count, Olaf, and we know you did this. We're telling Uncle Monty as soon as he gets back. Well, I think you ought to be considering your hypothesis with extra carefulness. When one jumps to conclusions and speaks without thinking, who knows what can happen. Well, at least we're rid of them. But what'll we do about all these roaming reptiles? Sappy? I've got an idea. I'll need a large hoop, some burlap, a long pole with a handle, and a basket. Let's split up. You check downstairs. I'll look up here for things we can use in your invention. Feathers from these pillows could be effective in the sprayer. M is for Mortmain, which here means the tragic impact of past events on present circumstances. Once again, Count Olaf's reprehensible stratagems have collapsed like a house of cards. Got the rim.
for the basket. Now we're trying to way back to Violet. N is for Nadia, which here means the point at which things couldn't possibly get any worse. The poor Baudelaire orphans are certain to reach it eventually. It appears as if Count Olaf's days of pulling the strings are over. This old tree trimmer is sort of long, and it has a hand. It should work for Violet's invention. Get loose, you're in for it. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm not usually so alone. 
This burlap sack should work for Violet's invention. There, it's finished. What is it? It's a reptile retriever. Aim it at the reptiles to grab them. Grab? Catch six reptiles, but the bag can only hold three reptiles at a time. Put the reptiles into these baskets when the bag is full. To empty the reptile retriever, click on the basket with your left mouse button. reptiles into a basket. <laughs> the reptile retriever is looking a little crowded. Let's take it outside and capture the rest of the reptiles before Uncle Monty gets back. There should be 24 reptiles on the loose out here. This gate's rusted shut. I'll need some oil to get it open. There must be some way to break through those brambles. Try the smasher. O is for obituary, which here means the published notice of someone's death. These things are often, I should point out, entirely fictitious. If we loaded some bees into the sprayer, they could give quite a sting. Just think of the buzz it would cause. Sorry, they'll stop now. The reptile retriever's full.
We're not done yet. for panjandrum, which here means a false title placed before one's name for the purpose of sounding important. The reptile retriever is looking a little crowded. The reptile retriever fills up so quickly. There's still some reptiles on the loose. Time to empty these reptiles into a basket. The last one. Looks like we'll need to head down into that tunnel to get it. Chips are down for Count Olaf, and it certainly looks like he's stepped in one. He's headed for the last roundup, whatever that might mean. We don't have all the reptiles yet. A mess that is easy to get stuck in and virtually impossible to get out of.
That takes care of all the reptiles. Let's see if Uncle Monty's back here. Not so fast. Where do you think you're going? It deeply saddens me to inform you that while the Baudelaire children were attending to the escaped reptiles and the bald man, Count Olaf was attending to Uncle Monty, which in this case means ending his life. Well, thank you for coming so fast, Mr. Pope. The, uh, the incredibly deadly viper bit him uh, quite, uh, quite effectively, uh, poisoning him all to heck. The Baudelaire children knew right away that the incredibly deadly viper could never have done such a thing. They knew that the incredibly deadly viper is one of the least deadly and most friendly creatures in the animal kingdom. But how could they prove it? Unbelievable! What you said about the snake is true! That means Mr. Stefano must be... <gasps> Where'd he go? Cheer up, children. I have excellent news. I found a new guardian to take care of you. Gather all your things and come along when you're ready. <clears throat> And so the children met their new guardian, Aunt Josephine, who lived in a very old and creaky house, perilously perched on the edge of a cliff that looked out over the huge inky blob of Lake Lacrimose. One might think that she was very brave to live in a house like hers, but this is not true. Aunt Josephine was terrified of just about everything you can think to be afraid of and quite a few things you would never think to be afraid of. The children, on the other hand, were only afraid of one thing. They were afraid of Count Olaf, who had disguised himself as a sailor named Captain Sham and worked his charm on Aunt Josephine, despite their protests. Children, go to town and gather the supplies for the hurricane, would you? Here's a list of everything we'll need. I have to go. There may be realtors lurking about. Oh, I've invited that lovely gentleman, Captain Sham, over for dinner. So be quick about it. Let's see. The list says we need to get limes, cucumbers, and blankets. See if you can find another way out. I'll go watch for Olaf. Oh no, not a rat! Ew, a rat! I was hoping to avoid that.
Ra is for rapacious, which here means stealing from others out of intense greed. in a crate. Exactly what we need. But I can't get through this little opening. You try, Sonny. Sure are sour. Ugh, we can put them in the sprayer. find anything in the store? We found some limes. Count Olaf would would if he could could, but he couldn't couldn't, so now he can't can't. You two stay here and look out for Olaf and his henchmen. I'll go see what I can find. S is for schism, which here means the division of an organization into two arguing groups caused by one member suddenly behaving in a greedy and violent manner.
There you go. Violet and I can't get through there, Sonny. Let's see what you can do. and out of this rain. The Baudelaire children returned from town to find Aunt Josephine's house disturbingly quiet. Except for all the rattling and howling caused by the intense storm outside. Where could Aunt Josephine be? That hole in the window pane is shaped just like her. She got pulled! Here's a note. It's full of misspellings and bad grammar. And Josephine is so meticulous about spelling and grammar, I don't think she would have made so many mistakes by asking. It's a code. She's trying to tell us something. But to decipher it, I'll need some of her grammar books. I'll need the correct spelling of every English word that ever, ever existed. A handbook for advanced apostrophe views. And basic rules of grammar and punctuation. Oh. Ooh. 
food inside. Go to the kitchen and see if you can find a book on grammar. Rah! You don't need a crystal ball to see that getting the Baudelaire's fortune just isn't in the cards for Count Olaf. Oh no! It's a rat! A rat! And he's looking at me like I'm cheap! Ow. which here means a problem in which there are three possible solutions, all of them bad. Unscrupulous, which here means without principles, oblivious to concepts such as honor and decency.
We're in the Kirtle Cave. That trail of banana peels can only mean one thing. Gulba? No, but that would have been my second guess. What it really means is Aunt Josephine has passed this way. That must be Aunt Josephine. Let's hurry. We can use these bananas in the rat. And he's looking at me like I'm cheese. A rat. Ouch. Guys, I suppose you can't go into a cave without expecting to meet a few. But we better keep them away from us. V is for verisimilitude, which here means the appearance of authenticity through deception, such as wearing a disguise and speaking with a funny accent. We need to find a way to cross the leech pool without getting near the leeches. Let's see... how to get across... I know, stilts. I'll need a few things. To be or not to be. Where Count Olaf is concerned, it's more a case of to have or not to have. And now he hasn't. A rat. Oh, if 
feels weird to be this tall. Let's just hope it's tall enough. Well, here I go. I just hope they don't like wood. Klaus, you stay here with Sunny. You better get across quickly, just in case. I'd better hurry across the pools. Who knows what an impatient witch will do. I should hurry across the leech pools. Sunny, looks like you're the only one who can fit through here. See if you can open this door for us. Jubaba! Find a safe passage for Sunny and me. I should hardly press the leaks. I should hurry press the leaks. I'm on my way. <laughs> A bat. <laughs> A bat. Not a pretty sight. Ow! <laughs> W is for Wunderkind, which means a child possessing extraordinary abilities that make adults competent by comparison. And he's looking at me like I'm cheese. Ready to go back? Go back? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going back. And Josephine, you've got to come back with us. 
you willed us to Captain Shem, you're the only proof we have. You know, Aunt Josephine, Girdle Cave is for sale. So? That means that before too long, people will come to look at it, and some of those people will be realtors. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, I'll leave. As so often happens, the Baudelaire children's grief-ridden lives were interrupted by Count Olaf. And as so often happens, Count Olaf did something of such unspeakable cruelty that I must refuse to even speak about it. Aunt Josephine! Suffice it to say, Aunt Josephine was no more. Children! Is that you? Count Olaf! What are you doing here? I had to come when I heard the children were in danger. Unfit guardian though I might be. <clears throat> it appears I was wrong about you. You've proven yourself to be an exceptionally capable guardian, and I would be remiss in my duties if I did not put them back in your care. <clears throat> and I know your motives are unselfish, since the law clearly states their fortune can go only to blood relatives and spouses. Really? My good man, I believe you've given me an idea. I shall celebrate the children's safe return with a debut performance of my new play. It's called... The Marvelous Marriage. The children soon discovered that Count Olaf planned to gain control of their fortune by marrying Violet. Dear Violet, I must ask you something. I can't find the right words, so I'll just say it. Will you marry me? You will. Splendid. What are you talking about? I'd never do something like that. You poor thing. You're not thinking straight. I understand how much stress you're under. What with your sister hanging precariously from the top of a nearby tower. Sonny! Dreadful situation, isn't it? Now, will you accept my proposal? Fine. I'll marry you. I have no choice. Wonderful! You've made me a very rich, I mean, happy man. <laughs> Come, darling. Our public awaits. It's up to me to stop this travesty. What would Violet do? I think I have an idea for an invention. If I had some kind of hook, rope, and a bunch of rings, I could make a grappling hook. It's one of those unlaundered brats. My beautiful costume is soaked. Count Olaf thought his efforts would be crowned with success, but they would all verge on failure from the very beginning. Well, this used to be a parasol. Good thing the skeleton is all I need.
This rug can be unwound and used as a rope. X is for xenophobe, which here means somebody who is afraid of people just because they come from a different country. Lucky these shower curtain rings were here. And there it is, one grappling hook. To operate it, I need to aim it at one of those theatrical masks and then release. Which here means a strong desire for something, such as a place or person that is gone and never ever coming back. Count Olaf's rather lumbering plan got the axe. It's a very good thing the Baudelaire's had the moral timber to resist him. Thank you. 
Sunny! Virgo! You won't get in Count Olaf's way again. Ever. a real page turner. Ah. Ah. Oh. Out! 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 over. We're too late. We are married. Here's the license, and there's nothing that any of you could do about it now. If I remember correctly, a marriage license that has been signed but not registered is invalid. And a burn license can't be registered. The ocular needs to charge up before you can use it. Baudelaire fortune will be mine! A wedding cake to celebrate this most joyous game. Oh! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> 
to say that Count Olaf was captured, that he was imprisoned and found guilty by the court for crimes too numerous to mention, and that before serving his life sentence, it was the judge's decree that Olaf be made to suffer every hardship that he forced upon the children. Help! I am thrilled to say all this, but alas, it is not the truth. As I warned you at the very start, the video game you were playing does not have a happy ending. You think you've won? You think it's over? He's getting away! There are many more of us, little orphan. Many more than there are of you. And this world is a far more frightening place than you could ever imagine. And you're just three little children, all alone in it. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's the one! <laughs> Don't worry, children. I'm sure the authorities will catch Count Olaf soon. <clears throat> you won't ever have to deal with that terrible man again. Yeah, right. The world can seem an unfriendly and sinister place, but believe us when we say that there is much more good in it than bad. And what might seem to be a series of unfortunate events may, in fact, be the first steps of a journey.